Hey everyone, it's Tracy. In this quick tip designer tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use designer for desktop to automatically create tint, shade, and tone palettes from a single color for when you're working on monochromatic designs. Now, unfortunately, this option isn't available in the iPad version. However, if you do have both, you can export your color palette and import it into your iPad. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to have designer automatically create color swatches to fill in these spaces. So for tints, it's going to add white to our base color until it reaches pure white. For black, it will add black to the base until it reaches pure black. And then finally, for this, the tones, it's going to vary the saturation between the base color and mid-tone gray. You always want to start with a base color. I'm going to work with this red and I'll head over to my swatches panel to the burger menu and I'm just going to set up a document palette. You could set this up as an application palette as well. And I'm going to name it after the color that I'm using. Now you need to have that base color in the palette because that's where you're going to create it from. So I'm going to select this box so that it turns the fill to that color and I'll just hit plus. If I right click on the color swatch, you'll see create color cord at the bottom. And there's a number of different color cords that you can create, but we're interested at the bottom of three. So I'm gonna click tints and it's going to add five colors in addition to the original base color and pure white. I'm going to remove pure white since it's part of the quick colors. And I'm also going to remove the base color since I already have it in the palette. And then I'll just fill in my boxes with these colors. All right, we're going to do the same thing with shades. I'll go back to my original color, right click, and this time I'll choose shades. It's going to do the same thing, but it's going to add five darker colors plus pure black and the base color. So again, I'll remove pure black because it's part of the quick colors and I'll remove the base color as well and then add these to my canvas. And finally, I want to choose tones to get my variation and saturation from my base color to gray. So I'll go back to that base color, right click, and this time I'll choose tones. And that's it. I have my tints, shades, and tones all based on this original color. And at this point, if I want to use it in my iPad, I can go back up to the burger menu, choose export palette, name my palette, save it, and then import it into the iPad. So that's all really easy, right? All the other color cords work the same. So head on in there and have fun creating palettes. It can be a great way to spark inspiration, especially when you're stuck on what colors to choose. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I would be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my teaching style, check out my full length classes on Skillshare and my own learning site, The Creator Collage. I've linked both below. In the meantime, you may wanna check out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.